Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Leos. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a look at what you're not expecting to happen from now until the end of November 15th, okay? Um, so we're getting straight into it. Welcome here. If you're new, um, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit the like button and the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post in the future if you would like to see future readings. Um, what else did I want to say? If you want a personal after viewing this, check out my description box or my comment section. There you can find my website and you guys can book a phone session or a video session with me. Right now I do have a special going on with my 20 minute video, um, not video sessions, phone sessions. Um, so check that out and yeah, let's go ahead and get into the reading. So what are my Leos not expecting to happen that may actually take place from now until... November 15th. What are my Leos not expecting to happen that may actually take place from now until November 15th? Okay, first card out. Okay, so we have two. So we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and we also have the Ace of Swords. So I want to start here. So with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, you guys may realize during this time frame that a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo may be slightly a user, or it's either this person's a user, manipulative, or somebody who's extremely jealous. Whenever we have the Queen of Pentacles upright, this is somebody who is loyal, trustworthy, um, usually somebody who you want to build a relationship with because this symbolizes somebody who you can nurture a relationship with and have a long-standing connection with. When the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse, this is somebody who you cannot trust. This is a vindictive person. This is a jealous person. This is somebody who um, is unable to nurture a real relationship or um, be nurturing in general. So this Queen of Pentacles... Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo can come in many forms. It's not just in a romantic sense. This can be your mother. Or you may be realizing, hey, my mother is very vindictive because of some things that may have happened, um, you know, a year ago or may have happened between us as far as disagreement. And you could be feeling like there's an off-putting energy there. This could be a coworker. This can be a friend. Really, it depends on who you are as a person, okay, with that. Um, beyond that, though, um, during this time frame, some of you guys may be realizing that you need to take better care of your health. Um, you may be realizing, hey, I don't remember the last time I really took some time to, you know, watch what I put in my body as far as, um, you know, vegetables and eating cleaner and all this other stuff. And you could be somebody, especially if you're a woman watching this, where you want your weight to be a different um you, you would like to be a different size. Like you would like your weight to be different in general. And this could be you realizing, hey, maybe it's time I take more consideration, especially with the Ace of Swords right next to it. Um, maybe it's time for me to take more in consideration of my eating habits. Um, others of you, this could even be your smoking habits. You may smoke cigarettes or you may smoke a lot of weed, which, listen, there, uh, we're not even gonna talk about that, but, um, for a lot of you, you may be just reconsidering a lot of your regimens and exactly how it's making you feel more unproductive. Like for a lot of you, you could be trying to respark that productivity and you could be realizing certain things are stopping you from being able to do that. Um, now with the Ace of Swords, there's going to be a very interesting conversation that's going to happen during this time frame, very revealing um, in a sense where some of you guys may be finally having that talk with that person who you may be really in love with or infatuated with. And then finally, this person lets you know where you guys both stand, whether it's good or bad. OK. Um, this conversation is going to give you what you need to do or give you insight on what you need to do moving forward if you should keep entertaining this person or not. Um, as long as you're looking at it for what it is, you'll be able to make a decision that's logical based off of this information. Okay. Um, hmm. Some of you guys may have to tell somebody else the truth and it may be a little hurtful for them. 
um, it may come off a little spicy. Be careful with the way that you convey your feelings. Um, of course, convey your feelings. Never hide how you feel or suppress it, but make sure the way that you're communi- communicating your feelings to someone else is to a point where they can understand it and not just assume that you're just saying things just to get under their skin or to, you know, hurt their feelings or anything like that. Okay. Um, we also have the two of wands in reverse here. Okay. So, hmm. So for my Leos who have been at a crossroads about exactly what you should do, um, and this could be in a sense of a job, whether or not you should move, whether or not you should stay in a relationship, whether or not you should live somewhere um, with a roommate. Again, it's going to be different for everyone. If you've been at a crossroad with a decision, like you've been wanting to make a final call, like, am I going to do this or am I going to do that this week or this time frame is going to give you that insight to make that final move. So, like I said, this month is or this beginning half of this month is really about your inner clarity and actually seeing your inner truth and what you do need to fix as far as what you give energy to and exactly what you may be participating in that may be bad for your health, you know? Um, we also have the Seven of Cups and we also have the Nine of Cups. So with this... With the Seven of Cups, you may also have a lot of love options that may start to come up or develop. And this may even be beyond November 15th. You guys just may have a lot of options or people who seem to be options um, in dating come up. And you're really going to have to make sure you're deciphering between who's actually potential to build a relationship with and who's just playing games because you are going to have options where, you know, they're, they're playing games. And if you're not careful and you fall for like the way that they say things or, you know, the way that they show you attention or whatever it may be, you may pick the wrong individual. Okay. Um, during this time frame as well, you guys may be just very emotionally confused. You may not really know exactly which way you want to move with a relationship anymore. Like if you're in a relationship, I'm really talking to you with this. You may not know which way to move with this because one sec you may be like, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. I'm done. Then the next sec you may be like, uh, well, maybe we can work this out. I know we argue. I know we have disagreements, but maybe we can fix it. Then the next second, it's like, well, maybe I will date somebody new because this situation is getting kind of old. Like it's a lot of mixed emotions. <laughs> so what I will say is during this time frame, don't make a final decision until you've sorted this out on what you should do with your relationship. Okay. Another thing I'm seeing, um, we do have the nine of cups here. So, um, there's going to be some sort of wish that's going to be granted here. Okay. But I always say, be careful what you wish for. If you wish for certain things to happen and you're not thinking about the pros and cons, then you'll, you know, start to realize when you wish for something and you, you didn't really take an account of both sides of the coin that the negatives will start to stand out to you more. Okay. So this could be a wish being fulfilled in regards to you having a new job in a new city, but with that new job in a new city, it's going to require you to pick up everything, move environments and meet a whole new set of people, which is hard. It's not the easiest thing, but it is a new beginning. So it's like understanding the duality of the things we wish for is also what's going to be coming up during this time frame. Okay. But I'm going to stop right here. Thank you so much, Leo's for watching this. I hope that you enjoyed and that you took something from this reading. If you did thumbs this video up, make sure you're subscribed and all that jazz. Again, if you do want a personal, you guys know where to find that information, in the description box or the comment section. Um, again, take advantage of the 20% off phone session special that we have going on on the website as well. 
And thank you for your support. And I will talk to each and every one of you in the next one. Bye.